moving right along, we got to go on and get into this update to where um, new details have been released about the 16-year-old. The high school. Who, who, who the fuck? Wait a minute. I think I did the wrong thing because it got the right person. Hold up. Bond is now increased. Oh, all right, all right, all right, cool. We did the story yesterday about the, um, the stepfather's killing the stepdaughter. And we was like, well, what did she do? What happened? You know, and we got a guess around here because we like to use our brain. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, And and remember, we thought our hell. <laughs> they was probably doing a little bit. They was probably, she probably was giving it to him. He probably took it. She was probably pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's just something. It's like, like that's that's what we were talking about. But anyway, here you go. Bond is now increased to two million dollars. Oh, the Jesus! Man accused of killing his girlfriend's sixteen-year-old daughter. From he had a million-dollar bond yesterday. Well, 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 when we did the story yesterday, his bond was a million dollars. Did she just say it done been increased to two million? What he did? Shout out to Esther for the one dollar cash out. He said, we not ourselves when we hungry. Hashtag free my dog. I'm trying to take it on this mother. I'm face ball up. It's, I kind of look ugly. You know what I'm saying? The 8-5. The, damn it, the 8 five, one, The eight one five. Love you. Love you. Back. Yeah, it's shit. Two million. Look Bond at it. Watch this. Bond is to two million dollars for the man accused of killing his girlfriend's 16-year-old daughter Friday. Van Brisbon is charged in the death of Nimitz High School sophomore Lauren Juma. And tonight, we're learning more disturbing details about the crime following Brisbane's court appearance today. Anieli Ruiz is here to walk us through what happened. Anieli, we understand. And shout out to I Still Rock's 80 Music and sh shout out to the anchor lady. Boy, she's slim, ain't it? <laughs> Shout out to I Still Rock 80 Music for the $5 Super Chat. Say, cash your check and come on. Say, it's the third of the month. Say, hey, Willie Williams. Say, did you be... Did you bitch slap the like button? I'm trying to tell you. Say the best player in these streets out here. Damn it, I need your support. And we need to get over 500. Y'all y'all help pimp it out. Come on now. Y'all listen. Here we go. There could even be some changes to his charges. Changes. That's right. It all depends on the evidence that investigates investigators gather. But we do know that so far, as of today, his bond was increased from one million to two million dollars. Uh -oh. What he did. It was an emotional hearing for family members of 16-year-old Lauren Juma and also for family members of her alleged killer. Monday morning was 60-year-old Van Brisbane's first court appearance after he was charged with murdering Lauren. I love my uncle to death. I swear I do, but I will never be able to understand how he did something like this to Lauren. That was Brisbane's niece. She was wailing inside the courtroom during his hearing, and a bailiff had to ask her to step outside. But the details of this case were very graphic to hear. Prosecutors said on Friday, mm -mm. Juma was found dead with her clothes in disarray. Whoa. They go on to say that Brisbane was seen pulling up and adjusting his pants while coming out of their home after two shots were heard. Uh -oh. Investigators say Lauren was on the phone with her mom and her sister prior to her death and said she woke up to Brisbane standing in a dark room acting weird. Prosecutors asking for a higher bond amount. Asked for $2 million. And that's Judge granted it. One thing his family made very clear, even though they're his blood relatives, they're supporting Lauren and her family. People have to be accountable for their actions. If we don't hold people accountable for the things that they do wrong, then people will continue to do wrong. His niece had this shirt made that says, here for Lauren. And she doesn't know how this could have happened. How he can take her life from her, I can never understand it. They saying there was some sexual activity going on, didn't? Did, isn't that what we had them just said yesterday? Because I did the story. Yes, let I me. Mean, I did the story. What is the day? Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did the story yesterday. Did, wasn't that one or two of the things that we came up with? It was something sexual, possibly. It's a very emotional. Possibly, hearing, as you can imagine. 
Now, the judge did ask prosecutors to rush the forensic evidence mm -hmm. to see if Lauren was sexually assaulted. And if she was, there could be potentially some changes in the charges, and he could be charged with capital murder. But again, this will all be up to the Harris County District Attorney's Office to see if they can even prove this. Now, by the way, we did Gotta contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office, and they told me that when he was arrested on Friday, he did show signs of intoxication. Reporting live in the Harris County Courthouse, Anil Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. So he did show signs of intoxi in, in, intoxication. So he was on his essential product. That, that's what they say. His essential product, and that's what, eh, you know what I'm saying? But her clothes was in disarray. And it say when he walked out the house, he was fixing his pants. We said, I keep trying to explain to y'all, there's always a reason. There's always a reason. Shout out to Vincent for the $2 cash shop. Say, watch my 12, my 3, my 6, my 9 at work watching. I appreciate that and do not get caught. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help out here. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I know it's always something. A lot of people, they don't want to think what, it's, what they would deem the worst thoughts. We don't want to think the worst thoughts. But your problem is you're not thinking of the worst thoughts, and that's why I am... I am who I am because I always think of the worst thoughts. So I can bring it to you from both angles. You know what I'm saying? We got to think worse and we and think worse and think positive or think worse and think better. It's something like that. Right now. Shout out to Passion for the $2 cash shop. Say late but on time. Say hey, Pastor. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Appreciate that right now. You say the store should have went when he walked out the door. When he walked out the door more... More shots rang out in his head. But, 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 no, no, no. They speculating that. They speculating that it was some sexual situations. You know what I'm saying? They speculate. They say this, that they still have to prove it. But, but, this is why the niece, the niece is like, she was just thrown off because of the, of the, of the, of what is being said in court. And like she really couldn't believe that they saying this about her uncle. And I'm gonna tell you why. Well, I'm finna show you why. She feels some kind of way. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like it don't make sense. But, but they cared for one another. I love my uncle to death. I swear I do, but I will never be able to understand how he did something like this to Lauren. He loved Lauren, and Lauren loved the life out of him. How he can take her life from her, I can never understand it. So. so what we can say is something went wrong in that house that day. Because she said, that she loved him and he loved her. Like they had like a really good like relationship. Nothing was bad. Nothing was bad. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so just, just according to what she is saying, like, like what could have happened? You know what I'm saying? And then for her to hear that the clothes was in disarray and he was possibly, um, that there was possibly some sexual going on, it throws off. So, hey, we never know. And we got to wait until we find out after the coroner do their job and they get back to us, you know what I'm saying? And then we will all know what had done transpired and, 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 or what they think is happening or happened. That's what's up. Moving right along. I'm not even much going to hold y'all here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? 